Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Quick Play! So here we are playing the European Sega Mega Drive launch titles. And the first title right here is Alex Kidd, The Enchanted Castle. I mean, check this title out right here in the title screen. Look at that. Pretty awesome looking. 1989. This uh, Mega Drive is actually the Sega Genesis for the US, but over in Europe they call it the Mega Drive. Same thing in uh, Japan, they called it the Mega Drive as well. What the hell was that? So right now we're entering Rookie Town. That means uh, you're a noob. And you don't know what the, what, the, what the hell is that? You can actually punch a car and blow it up. You saw that shit? Alright, so we are entering a what appears to be a freak show. And we have a gorilla and a... T looks like a very dangerous looking teddy bear. And I don't know what the hell that is, but I do not want to go near it. Alright, so this definitely appears to be some type of a platformer. I do remember uh, seeing these games on the uh, Sega Master System. The Alex Kidd series was basically a way of competing with the Super Mario series, I would say. What the hell? Very, very interesting, unique platformer. Some of it kind of doesn't make sense to me. Like, what the hell is that plane doing this flying around randomly? Why the hell is there a car that's driving around the platformer? Like, that doesn't even make any sense to me whatsoever. And check this out, you can actually crawl on the ground into a moonwalk, look at that! Not only that, but you can actually crawl forward and punch while on the ground, look at that, that's, that's pretty damn cool. That was cool, whatever the hell that was, punching the balls, how do you like that, huh? And then we have... Alter Beast. For the Sega Mega Tribe, this is the Japanese version, of course, the same one I played before. Power up! Look at that, oh shit! Kicking ass, look at that. Beating up animals and all kinds of stuff. There's a two-headed pig, there's a guy right there that doesn't have a head, he's carrying his own head. And that pretty much sums up what Alter Beast is. Uh, you know, you just beat the shit out of things until you uh, morph into something much bigger than what you originally were. Wolfman right there, and you got what looks like a Swamp Man creature, I'm not sure what the hell that is. It's a green Wolfman, it's the Incredible Hope, plus the Wolfman pretty much crammed together into one. So here's another game that Europe got that no one else got during their launch. On November 1990, Europe got Columns for the Sega Mega Drive at launch, and that's the title screen. Looks kind of fancy looking. Now basically, this is Sega's answer to Tetris. This game pretty much set the standards for uh, very similar jewel type games in the future that exist now, like Bejeweled. Things like that. Uh, definitely way ahead of the sign. Look at this. It's a very, very simplistic game. And I fucked up. So, the whole object of this game is nothing but just matching colors, and that's it. If you can match the colors, you're good. Now, I gotta warn you ahead of time if you're colorblind, this is definitely not the game for you. You're not gonna be able to play it. Grip was also very, very lucky to get. Golden Axe on the Sega Mega Drive at launch, which is pretty awesome, because uh, over here in the U.S., we did not get that at launch. So you guys are uh, lucky bastards. So right away, standing in line for the Sega Mega Drive, you can take this game home with you. Look at this. This is one of the best Sega Genesis games of all time. Sega Mega Drive, you know what I mean. And you can actually just climb on top of that weird looking creature thing right there and beat the shit out of everything on the screen. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that shit. Blow everything up. This game is definitely a great beat em up game. If you, if you, I, it's very, very unlikely that you never played this before, but if you never played this before, you, you definitely have to play it. What the hell are you waiting for? And over in Europe, they had this day one for the Sega Mega Drive. This game is awesome. I can play it forever. I'm gonna have to stop right now. So another game that Europe actually uh, got their hands on during the Mega Drive launch was Space Harrier 2, which was also available on the uh, Genesis during the launch. Uh, it's a very, very similar game to Afterburner, except instead of flying a jet, you're an actual guy that flies around. Check this shit out. I mean, look at that. You can actually fly around, you have like some type of a cannon in your hand, and you're just blasting the shit out of things, so you have to make sure you don't get hit by stuff. Got like totem pole looking things right there. I don't know what the hell that is, but got these weird looking things flying that you just blow everything up. And to be quite honest, it's actually pretty loyal to the uh, the arcade version. It's not 
exactly update like perfect, but it's actually not bad. It looks pretty good. So if you enjoyed playing this game in the arcade back in the early 90s, late 80s, and you had to make a decision on what home console you were going to buy, this might actually help you make your decision. Ouch, I just hit myself in the face with whatever the hell that thing is Get right ready. there. What the hell is that? And then we have Thunder Force 2, which is a... Uh, First to be a shoot 'em up game. This also released in the United States, North America during the launch. Well, guess what? Europe had the chance to buy in this game at launch as well. It's definitely uh, an interesting game. Let's check it out. Good luck. So, this game is a shoot 'em up. And what separates this game from your normal shoot 'em up is that you fly in all different directions. Look at that. Flying circles, look at that shit. Yeah, what, what the hell is that? You have to be very careful when you fly because you can literally get hit by anything. And it's not exactly uh, fully taking advantage of the Mega Drive as of yet, but it still looks pretty good. And this is the final Mega Drive launch title that was available at launch, so you guys had one, two, I think like seven games. You had the most games out of anyone else. So Europe had seven games. Guess what? Europe wins the whole contest right here. Europe had the best Sega Genesis Mega Drive launch. You lucky sons of bitches. Quick play!